working. They can see the box is lighting up now too, which is cool. We've done the we've done the thing. Hey, look! You can see me and Chris. Look at look at look look. Look, see there he is, and there. Well, you can't. You can barely see me. See, look. They couldn't hear you. Okay, so they actually they can't can hear you. They they were talking the whole time. You were talking the whole time. I fixed it. Nice. I, I hate when you have to like in your recording software. Sometimes you have to specify what you want to record. And when it comes to Discord, it's like, oh, you have multiple chats. Well, which one do you want to record? The one I'm on the call with, obviously. The one that's no, making you... noise. No, you have to record them all. Hmm? Apparently, jeez. Yeah. You have to record them all. I wish I could just but, record Discord as a whole. Like, it's not like I'm going to be on multiple calls or anything. Else, but. You, you, you never know. You could be like a call, and then someone calls you within that call, and then you get another call while calling the call, and then there's an endless call loop. Yep. You're on a call within a call within another call within an also another call. It's a, it's a, it's a whole... Catch or 20, like, it's uh, one of those catch 20. I don't even know what that means, but yeah. Or you like you call yourself because we were literally talking about that a minute ago. Like, you know how people would like um lose their phones when it's like literally in their hands. So it's just like <sighs> what was I going for? Like we we all have those uh, moments when we're we're looking for our phone. Like right now, I'm holding <laughs> my phone and I could be looking around. And I've right. done this in real life too, and so so is Chris. We were talking about it before. We we you know we'd be saying, "Where I can't find my phone? What's going on?" And everybody, uh, for me personally, <laughs> sometimes people are like, "Are you actually serious?" I'm like, "What? Look at your hand." And yeah, that's, yeah, that's a so phone like, that's in my hand, or or even like, you know, when you're on the phone, phone? Yeah, it's like on the other call with the person, you're like, "Hmm, I can't find my phone. This is a problem." He's like, "What are you talking <laughs> to me on?" Yeah, like, really, before I was like, should be like, where's my phone? And then it's like, literally in my pocket, I'm like, oh my god, it's right there. It's like, yeah. And I was like saying, it would be funny, like, you can't find your phone, right? So you will call yourself on the phone you're using. <laughs> and then your phone starts ringing, it's like, why is my phone ringing? Why I'm calling myself? I'm like, oh, wait. Now I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm going to do something like that. I mean, I've done stupid stuff. Like, um, in elementary school, I'm pretty sure some kids, not everyone. Like, you know how, like, you're a little kid, you definitely would climb up the slide? Oh, I've done that plenty of times, yeah. <laughs> so in elementary school, I remember I would climb up a slide one time, and some kid was going down, and I got kicked off and fell on the top of the slide and hurt my head. Um, then I went to the nurse's office, and I was recovering. Now, the smart person would be like, okay, I learned from my mistake. I'm not going to do it again. I did it the next day and did the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah. So I literally climb up the slide. I, I literally climb up the slide again. <laughs> Only for someone else to kick me off. And I'm like, huh, I'm going to fall again. <laughs> and the nurse is like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know you, you go to the nurse's office. <laughs> why did I get another boo boo? Well, if you would have not done what you just did, and I, like I told you, then you wouldn't have gotten that boo boo. No, no, like what well, if your dumbass didn't do exactly what you did that made you here? They would have been in this situation. I mean, it would be funny. It was funny when I think about, it, but I was pretty dumb. <laughs> Mystery school. I remember when we always played kickball. We always came with the. Uh, there was a song we was like, uh, extra, extra, read all about it. Like the person kicking, like, let's say, Henry, like, Henry's gonna kick the ball on the way to City Ball, no doubt about it. Does anyone know that song? I'm just saying, like, I don't remember. Does anybody know that song? I don't. I don't even know what he's going on about, but okay. So, like, like I said, in elementary, we will have, like, a little kickball field. And the people watching the person, like, about to kick or bat, we would sing a song. Like, for example, let's say the per like there's a kid named Henry who's about to kick. So, we would come up with the song as, like, 
extra, extra, read all about it. Henry's going to hit the ball all the way to City Hall. No doubt about What was that, bro? Bro, bro you, you crack in the pop. You pop in the crack. You really hear that? I'm not even talking. It shouldn't be able to pick up my soda. Bro, it was crunchier than stepping on Cheetos. Oh, God, that's sip. <laughs> that's sip. I didn't know we were starting to do the ASMR, uh, AS, yeah, those streams. <laughs> you hear my sermon. <laughs> okay, that reminds me of something. So, I sometimes would play, like, Call of Duty Zombies with some other friends of mine. Um, They're, like, the Chicken Dragon and MSG and all of them. So, one time, um, I, as you could tell, I have... um. A little opening there, but for that reason, let me actually go to. So, um, I have this, but it fell out, and I tried several times to uh, put it back on. Hmm. Um, so when I was playing, I had the microphone on, and my grandma was telling me like how like we should fix it, and I put my headphone down, so, like I put my headphones down like this when I was talking to her. And I was telling her, I was like, oh, you know, we should do hot glue. I'll like hot glue and whatnot. And they start laughing because like, is this an ASMR video? It was like, I hear you guys talking about hot glue. I'm like, I didn't know you guys could hear. But the mic was right next to me. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know. But I got fixed. I tried taping it and it worked for a couple of days. And it was like, ha, 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 you thought. And just straight up. No. I see videos like that all the time. Like, sometimes I'll see. You know, someone will post like a 30 second thing of th them just doing this. Just with a bunch of random. I don't even know if you heard that, but. No, like just a bunch of a, a bunch of random sounds. And it's like, ah. So many comments would be mm, very satisfying. Ah, mm, 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 mm. It's kind of like if you vacuum and like you somehow get the crunchy sound from it. It's like, yes. And Kevin vanished, folks. I've got lotion because my hands are dry. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. <laughs> I've got I've got two things on my my. Oh, you can't even. Yeah, that this. I mean, that thing in the jig right there, that mm -hmm. I don't use, and I should really put to use. I got a water fountain, which is, is supposed to help. When you're sleeping, when you have trouble sleeping because of the sound of the water. And then I have a ocean projectors. This, this thing. It's like a, uh, well, it's an ocean projector. Ocean. Oh, yeah, I remember when um, me and another friend uh, came over. Didn't you put that on before? Yeah. I'm I'm slowly going back here with my headphones on. Don't mind me in my shorts and a jacket. <laughs> this is this is Kevin in his normal day. I believe it or not, even in winter, or whatnot or summer, you wear the same gear. Man, I don't know where the wire went. I can't plug it in. Big up city. I mean, I'm far away. I probably don't. <laughs> Probably not come across as well, but it's okay. I have this keyboard and speakers I need to get rid of, because... Oh, I guess I can keep them. I don't like to get rid of things. No. So, you know, like... There's something I was wondering. Um, huh? I was talking to a friend in the past, and we were talking about, like... How we would probably give our children, like, our old stuff. Like, I have, like... A good amount of stuffed animals, which is on my front desk, which I was like, okay, that's fine. But uh, <laughs> um, I was like, I'll probably get them to them. I was like, would you give your old stuff to your future child, or would you like just put it away? I think. I mean, I if they depends what it is, I guess. Yeah, I'm not saying like like. I'm not saying you should, like, give your child, like, a picture of yourself. I mean, unless you want to be that type of person, that's fine. That's fine, but, you know. I would say, like, would you give your guitar 
to your child in the future, or would you like put it away? Oh no, yeah. If they w- they wanted it, they wanted to continue playing. Then yeah, absolutely. I would happily give it to right. them. So I like, would teach them all the finger skills of Kataris Yes. No one take that out of context. Shut up. <laughs> uh, like Kit in Bones will say, this is in the internet. Everything gets taken out of context. <laughs> um. As for me, I would. Hmm. Would you give I'd anything definitely... or only specific thing? Um, I wouldn't mind really giving them anything, honestly. Like, I have this. Um, so I got this from an anime convention a long time ago, which I'll have to put it back. Hold on. Back in Rose's left cheek. I'll definitely give them this. You know, if they, especially if they like the show, I'll be like, yeah, definitely. That's if the show is still. I think the show will still be relevant in the future. I would hope so. It's my childhood show, so. You know what I mean? I imagine it. They're going to be continuing it, what, this year? Yeah, they're actually continuing the anime. Um, They're going to the Moro, I think his name is. Moro. Uh, I think that's his name. They're continuing from the, the manga, so that's good. You know, like, it's just like, though, like, um, you know, One Piece, right? Um, there's some confirmation that One Piece is going to be ending, I think, in 2025. So it's like in two years. And that show has been lun- running as long as like Naruto and DBZ. I mm-hmm. mean, you could say Naruto would technically be alive because you have the Boruto series, but it's more or less the sun in like a next generation than the actual series. Yeah, I, uh, I just finished watching, I think, uh, season. Oh, I don't remember which one now. Season three, I think, of My Hero. Dang, last time we talked, you said you just started a couple episodes. <laughs> yeah, well, I, st- I stay up to like three or four in the morning sometimes. I'm just like, hmm, I really liked it. Because they, they have the, they, they like to really leave you on cliffhangers. And I'm like, well, I mean, cannot I'm- be left there. I, I can't go to bed and and just leave that there. I need to figure out what happens. I mean, what show doesn't leave you on a cliffhanger? Because like, it makes the person want to watch more of it. That's how they get you. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, like they do it in a really, really good way. Like, all right, this this plot twist happened. You thought this was gonna happen. Now this happened. Oh, you gotta wait till next episode. It's not like, for example, like DBZ is like, Vachita still will Vachita stop looking at Frieza's butt cheeks? Will Frieza actually attack? Will Vachita become the princess of all the Saiyans? Find out next time on Pure. Period. Oh, uh, coward. You. Uh, uh, you get what I mean, but and the thing with Dragon Ball is they take like <laughs> twenty episodes to finally get through a transformation. It's like okay, episode <laughs> one, they're charging. Oh my god, they're fighting. Oh, hang on, I'm not at full power yet. Five episodes later, oh, hang on, let me power up a bit more. All right, fight more. I uh, episode you- ten transformation finally happens. You kind of remind me, like, good examples is, like, Rage Trunks. Remember, like, the end of the episode of Trunks becomes Rage Mode, and people are like, I want to see him in action. Or even when Vegeta hit Evolution for the first time. They literally end the episode like that. It's like, I gotta watch the Goku and Vegeta combination against Jiren, you know? And yeah, it's like, everyone's it's- like, what is, what is this new transformation Vegeta hit? But apparently it wasn't. It was just, like, mastered... I think it's just mastered blue... I mean, it's strong enough to take out, like, a God Destruction Topo. Well, technically, he had to use Final Explosion, which took a lot out of him. Yeah. But I hope... Well, we're also going to see Ultra Ego, or Master Ultra Ego from Vegeta um, with the upcoming series, so expect that with Dokkan, definitely. Ultra Ego, which means Master Forehead. Master Four. I saw like videos how like Vegeta's forehead looks. His widow's peak looks like the McDonald's logo. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. <laughs> Vegeta's um, really loving it. He's giving the smile and everything. <laughs> so another anime that actually won. Uh, so there was this uh, anime place. What was it called? Like Gold Something. Link, uh, anime gold uh, awards. Let me look at it, but not Crunchyroll, not that one, because a lot of people say, that's how, I, Yeah, that's what I've been watching. Um, 
my hero on. That's what um, I watch One Punch on too, but season two isn't on there for some reason. Can't wait for can't wait for season three to come. It's it, One Punch is a bit stupid because you know no matter who S- Saitama goes up against, it's like yeah, no one's beating him. He's gonna he just has to punch a little seriously. Oh, that's what it's called. And then, and then you're done. For. So I was actually looking at this. Um, so there's this website or this place called Golden Issue Awards. Um, believe it or not, Dragon Ball Super Superhero actually won the comic book's Golden Issue Award for Best Movie. And it was competing against One Piece film Red and Makoto Shinkai. I was happy by that, but I'm not, uh, that's not what I was trying to get into. Um, the anime of the year for at least the comic book Golden Issues was this anime called Chainsaw Man. Um, my friend told me to watch it. It's apparently a really good anime, and there's only 12 episodes. Yeah, I've heard it was very good, too. Um, it's kind of interesting, because, you know, like, for one of the, sh- like, a lot of shows, it'll be like, why, like, the, like, like, what is the protagonist fighting for? Love, friends, family. But literally, this protagonist straight up is like, I'm doing it for boobs. I'm doing it for boobs. I'm like, bro. <laughs> it's so different, but... um. My eyeballs. I I figured out. I don't mean to change the subject, but I figured out this. The... Oh. Let me. There you go. And... I'm breaking reality with the. My eyeballs. Oh, sorry, I flashed uh, that in your face. Oh, I see the stars. <laughs> uh, Changes colors too. It's pretty cool. Has like sound effects with beaches and. Yeah, I remembered um, when we went over. You kind of you, you did show us that. I believe. And it was really cool. Oh, I don't, was... don't do that. Yeah, it's very nice for when you're sleeping because, you know, you hear the sounds and you look up and it's a beautiful color, yes. Exactly. Let me turn my lights back on. Mm. Because I don't have good lighting. You seem to be a bit tangled. (laughs) Yeah, man. Uh, like that Disney movie, Tangled. Cool. Yeah, man. Okay. So I know. I don't don't like... mind me. Uh, don't mind my shorts. I, 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 to answer people's questions, why am I like this? Why am I in a jacket, not pants? Well, because Kevin's Kevin. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. For some reason, it's wearing pants on on this chair, just like. I don't know. It's cold in my room, but I just don't want to wear pants. I guess. I don't know. No, I get it. You know, for some reason, when I was thinking of Disney movies, I was thinking of Frozen. And that kind of reminded me of a joke. I saw this image, and I'm totally going to do this as a future father. So, like, if my child is going to ask for, like, Frozen, I'll just give her, like, Frozen, like, give them Frozen, like, dinner. Like, you wanted Frozen? I got you Frozen. (laughs) Or... uh, Fun. I would be like that, like the father who would like joke around, make dad puns, and like probably take things too literal. Like, for example, if someone wanted a toad, I'll like, like you know, toad the Nintendo character. They wanted a toad character. I'll just like find a toy frog. I'm like, here's your toad. <laughs> it's like, nah, this isn't what I want. Is like, you should have been specific. Um, no, nah, but I definitely would want my kids to succeed in what the career they want and not force them to like unless I guess for me I wouldn't really want my kid to smoke and drink I would prefer like I, I'm keeping that all I mean I'd rather they not drink but if they want to have one every so often that's fine if they're responsible that's fine stay away I'm keeping them away from cigarettes no okay so I got a question 
what how would you feel if i had a like a daughter and you had a son and they liked each other or like how would you feel about that man like would you want them today would you not i mean, I mean pers- it's, it's it's different especially like keep this in mind right you're you're I mean, I don't know this, but this is how I would... Per- I know this from being a brother. I'm yeah. I'm definitely the overprotective type, so imagine, you know, the difference between, okay, you're having a daughter versus having a son, right? At least if you have a son, you can... When he starts dating, you're like, okay, he can... You, you've taught him well, he'll treat the, the woman right. With a daughter, it's like, well... You don't know who the man is. You yeah. don't know who the man is, and will will he treat her well? And so that's another thing I was thinking about. You know, like if you have a daughter, the father would mostly be protected, but if they have a son, they would just be like, "Oh, get that, ch- like get that daughter." But like, how would you know what the daughter is? You know, even yeah. if I had a son, I'll still be protected. It was like it would be like, "Dad, it's just my girl." It's like I don't care. I don't know her. I need her. I don't know this woman. She could be trying to use you. None of it. No. Nope. Oh God, no! If I find out that my son was getting used or cheated on, I'm like, all right, who's the one messing with? The-? Or even my daughter, like especially my daughter too. Oh yeah, who? Yeah, yeah. And that's like goes to the case is like, I wouldn't mind if our child like would happen to date, but like if they do break up, I feel like that will really mess up our friendship. And it's like, I don't want that. By the same time, like if they do become like if it know. if it ha- if it happens, it'll be a it'll be like well, your parents are a bit your parents are like family. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, you remind me of uh, Fast and Furious. Nothing beats better than family. <laughs> I mean, in a sense, like if they get you know they get together and then it's like oh well now they're married. Te- technically, we would be. Fam, we'd be brothers in law, legit now. Techn- well, technically, we are brothers, but yeah, we would technically be. We'd in be law, brothers in law because of it. Uh, true. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. You know, it also, the, like I said, depends. Well, like I said, if they get married, I'm like, hug me, brother. <laughs> this is what I wanted. My whole goal yeah. in life has been accomplished. I mean, I, I I'd be fine with it just because, like, I know the kind of person you are. I know you would be a good father. I know you would raise your child well. So I'd be like, all right. Well, same same with you too. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I I know I'd be okay with this. So I'd have no I'd have no, no issue. I'd, like I said, when I become a like when I become a father in the future, I'm definitely going to be the one who embarrasses my kids. So like, not like be in a sense of like. For example, I drop them off in the front of the school. I'm like, hey, that's my child. I love you, son, or I love your daughter. Like, dad, stop. Oh, sorry. But let's go out there, dude. Like that type of thing. Not be like, hey, like not be the one who like have their friends over, right? And they'd be like, tell them their embarrassing secrets in front of them, you know? Like there's fathers who be like, hey, yo, it's like <laughs> Like, you have a friend over, he's like, son, did you doo-doo staying on the floor again? He's like, dad, I have friends. I don't care if you have friends. Make sure you let them know that you pee on the bed, too. He's like, bro, you're just really lowering their self-esteem by doing that. There's a difference between embarrassing them as a joke and straight up just embarrass them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely embarrass them. I'll definitely embarrass them. At least be like, you better say I love you. You're like, you're, you better not leave till I say I love you. <laughs> like, yeah. You just, you just get out of when you drop it off. I want you to say I love you, Dad. Dad, there's everyone's watching. I don't give a damn, <laughs> sir. We need to, you need to drop off your child. No, nope, they didn't say they love their pops. Listen, I would become. I would literally go into school, apply for a teacher job, get the job, and be a teacher in my school in my son's classroom. We're like, oh, that's my son who didn't say I love you. It's like, Dad, what are you doing here? Well, since you didn't want to say I love you, I decided to come in here until you say you love me. I also decided <laughs> to come in here. I want to make sure you're getting your good education. I will teach you myself. <laughs> Bro, not the day only I... am I no, not only am I this teacher. But I'm also the other teachers too. I applied for all of them. I was like, oh dad, I could get easy. I was like, no, you're gonna work twice as hard with me. No, I'm giving you double the homework, boy. <laughs> oh god. I feel like especially with the math systems, like I feel like my child <laughs> will be like like will be in second grade, like, Dad, I need help with my homework. It's like, 
oh, what is it, math? And I look at it, and it's like freaking calculus. So like, what school did we put you in, and why are you learning calculus in second grade? As as time goes on, that's what schools are gonna start teaching. They're gonna start teaching like really complicated stuff in schools. So actually, last semester I took a class from Future Schools of Education, and people are like, we were talking about, it, we're like thinking about how what schools are gonna be like. Some people are saying schools are gonna be obsolete, and it feels like we'll just do it online. Some people think technology will be very advanced to the point where it's like. You'll just have a VR headset, technically, and you'll learn from that. Kind of like Cybertalk Edge Runner. Mm. What is your opinion on what school is going to be like in like the future? For example, like 2050, so to speak, or something like that. Lots of tech, I'm sure, mm. yeah. Like headsets and holographic screen. Oh, maybe not that. Mm. Uh, that would well, cost a lot of money. Well, believe it or not, in my old... Like, I think it was two semesters ago, we had this... Literally, we had a hologram as a guest speaker. Not even kidding, because it was a um, it was a history class, and we're learning about the Holocaust survivors. And they actually had a hologram of one of the Holocaust survivors. So I could definitely see like it going like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Those are expensive to make, though. I mean, I know yeah. how they do it. Do they have like a a flat? glass piece of screen that projects the image onto the thing right i think that's what they do right now anyway it's not like an actual th hologram no. where you just swipe your hand through oh no you're exactly right the hologram we had was just a like like type of pod machine and like you have a glass and it shows like the avatar so to speak yeah um even then when we asked the questions it didn't really give us answers because it really wasn't programmed to answer certain questions yeah, that's a that's a beginning stage prototype of so hologram. I could, so I could definitely see why you think like schools in the future will be very advanced, especially like as for me, I kind of want to lean towards being more technological, but I can also see like to the point where like buildings, school buildings will be obsolete and everything will be like online, especially mm -hmm. ever since COVID, they started to progress from that. So it could go either way. Um Honestly, that's how I feel. But enough. To, I I think we we yeah. good on that. Yeah. We oh, also we should. I should be getting the switch this weekend. I also should be uh getting my capture card finally. Cause well, I that's right. I meant I meant to mention earlier. Tell the stupid story I had last night. I went to purchase a, a thing from Amazon. The capture card on Amazon, right. and. I, my Prime membership had been paused, so... Because I had taken my card off and everything. And then I went to go purchase the item, put my card back on to make that purchase, and then it, it, it didn't even confirm with me. It just, like, my Amazon Prime was like, okay, we're going to take money from your card to continue your, your Prime membership. So they're taking money out just for you to make a purchase? Well, because the Prime the membership was paused, they took... Because I put the card back on, it's like, okay... Your payment method was updated. Now we can continue your Prime membership, and I I didn't like say I didn't say okay to that. So I called the the number it sent me to. I was like, okay, this was a mistake. Can you cancel this purchase? And the woman I was on the phone with, she was an idiot. Like not to be rude, but you know, I was like, oh, this was a mistake. Can you cancel the purchase? She's like, okay, I will report fraud on your card and get you a new one. What? I did. I wasn't a fraud. It was a simple mistake. I just want a refund. And she was like, "Okay, yes, I put fraud on your card. And can you please give me new information what? as to where to to send your new card?" So it's like so, she's just making you go around a loop. Then, if that's the case, yeah. So now my card is completely broke. I can't use my card. So oh to purchase it, I have to use Venmo instead, which is fine. I can. Venmo it and use Amazon, but the, the sad part is, is like I can't. I canceled the membership right, right. after because I thought, hey, maybe if I cancel it fast enough, the purchase won't go through, and I still have the money, so maybe the membership did cancel. But I don't know. 
If that happens, well, I'll have to call Amazon and be like, yeah, I didn't mean this was a complete accident. I canceled the membership. So, so. the last instance I remember you telling was the Uno incident we had where Uno just, the Ubisoft specifically, was not very, how should I say, it was not very compliant with your request, so yeah. to speak. <clears throat> Yeah, I waited. Uh, mm. It was I. I sent a a help email or a su support ticket, as they say, on December twenty eighth. I waited till January eighth or ninth, and they still never responded back. So it's like, all right, I'm tired of this. I'm I'm fixing it myself. And I found out that uh, the winter DLC theme apparently is what causing it was causing it so once i got rid of that and it was free so it wasn't like i was losing anything so i got rid of that dlc and then the game was working fine and then i was ubisoft was of no help right so oh yeah you told me like um so what what happened was is that as kevin said we were trying to play uno and then like ubisoft said that his purchases was on a different account which wasn't true and we were, he was trying to get that fixed, and instead of actually helping him, like companies should, they did not respond and even give him an answer, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they, they respond to one email saying, oh, well, when you get this error, it normally means, okay, you're on the wrong account. But it, I wasn't. I was on the right. Like, I had it. I, I even sent them a screenshot saying, hey, it gives me the option to download it. I tried repurchasing it didn't work sent them evidence of that and they had nothing to say so i oh. fixed it myself right you know and it's not every corporation but it seems like they're a good amount at the very least who say they help their customers but in more or less they don't even comply with the requests or if not just move it to a different section and just like move it past the, even though like Hey, you're supposed to help me figure this out. I'm having issues, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's also dependent on like who you get as a supporter too. You know, you can get that one person who's like doesn't care and doesn't help. You can also get someone else. Like when my my Ubisoft account got hacked, I managed to get through to Ubisoft and say, "Can you? What can be done?" And I I got a very good person who fixed that within. 10 minutes who reset all my account details is like oh okay no problem we'll fix it for you and right. they were they were very nice about it they answered right away so but then you get some that like for example that customer you had with amazon try to instead of just help you just get a refund they try to place you as fraud you know and you're literally yeah, trying to explain I, I literally was explaining to them this was a mistake i didn't mean to do this and she's like oh you not authorized purchase i'm like yeah, I, I didn't authorize... She she was mixing my words. She's right. like, okay, yes, I report card for fraud and or uh, something else, scam or whatever, and, you know, have your card deactivated and get you a new one. So I was like, okay. Right. I, I, I just... I didn't trust what she was saying, so I thought, all right, maybe a scammer called me, like, picked up the call. I was like, nope, hanging up. So, speaking of scammer calls, there's a lot of scammer calls. I had a friend who would scam, would get scam calls. Apparently, um, a lot of people would call, be like, oh, you can earn easy money, or hey, do like, even there's some people like, oh, yeah. And then the thing is, like, there's no such thing as easy money, unless you can be a wealthy person or come from a wealthy family. or it, There's no such thing as easy money. You have to work hard for it, you know? So, like, if people are saying, earn easy money fast, don't listen to them. Mm -hmm. Or if there's people, uh, another thing. Um, um, so, for people who don't know, or people who should know, um, when the IRS, I believe it was IRS, if they try to contact you, they would do it by letter. So, if you get a call from anyone that say they're, quote, unquote, from the IRS, you don't, it's a scam. Um, and the sad part is, it's mostly the elder people who would fall for this because they would believe it to be true, which is really, really disappointing. Mm. Well, it's not disappointing for the elderly. It's just disappointing that there's people who would do this to people with them. 
Yeah, I've, and, been, I've been getting a lot of messages myself, from like a bunch of emails saying, "Hey, your Netflix account is is or membership has expired. Go to this website." And I, you know, I know they're not going to answer, but I'd love to respond with, "Oh, really? I didn't know I had a Netflix account. Interesting." Oh, that goes, yeah, and that goes with me. Like, I get text message from people, like, um, literally just random text message, like, "Oh, your Amazon account's about to get hacked. Go on this link to change your password." And literally, I check my Amazon, and it's totally fine. You know, I even changed my password just in case, but I didn't do it on the link. I literally did it on the website itself. Yeah, don't ever trust pe- links people send you. If you think something's mm-hmm. wrong with your account, go to the website specifically. Go and- to, yeah, go to the actual, don't, like, don't go to, like, website. Like, don't go to, like... Like if you get calls or something, especially especially phone calls or even text messages, like like for me, like I said, I got text message from people like, "Oh, your accounts are you're about to be hacked. Go on this link. Don't, you know, if that's the case, go to the actual Amazon website or like the website and change it." Um, and there's yeah. also this thing. Um, so I go to school. There's this thing called student handshake. Um. And, like, you could find internships and whatnot with that. Um, and there's this one program. I'm not going to say the company's name. Um, but they look really promising. Um, they're like, oh, you could become, like, a teacher if you work with us. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I started to start with the application. I put my name in. And then they asked for a picture of my birth certificate and Social Security. I'm like, okay, this does looks weird. And then it was like, I had to do it before, like, December something. So I never even touched it because I didn't trust it. And then I get an email from the school saying that there's some places that would be like trying to scam people. Hmm. And what really took the cake is that I still get emails from them like, oh, you still have a chance to do it by this, like by February. I'm like, you're just trying to scam me. You like, it's one thing if you're just going to be like my name, but like the fact you need a picture of my birth certificate and social security is like, that's, Honestly, a bit. Yeah, that's creepy. never something. If someone's asking for that for over the phone or anything, that's probably a ninety-nine well, percent the, chance being a scam. Well, it was on the website themselves, but the issue is, is like for one, they told me I had to do it by December, and I didn't do it because I didn't trust it. Yeah. And they're still emailing me. It's like, oh, you could still have a chance, and that's just like, you know. Being a teacher, teaching people art is something I would love to do, but, you know, something like this, I don't, listen, I don't know, to become a teacher, you need to send a picture of your birth certificate and social security, if that's the case, let me know, but I don't think you need to actually, like, send a picture, but more or less, you'll have to, like, hand it in person, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, I don't think they would make you do that, I think they would send you a, a personal form you'd have to fill out and say, okay... You know, well, attach your information to this and then send it back to us. They didn't, though. It, like, it was from their own website. No, so, I, like, no I, looked, yeah, I get it, I get it. But, you know, I, I just, you know, and, and like I said, they still message me. And like, like I said, I would love to be a teacher, uh, a graphic design teacher to, like, teach people. It's not my career goal, but it would be nice to inspire people. But, you know, I don't want to risk my, like, not reputation, but basically my my identity, so to speak. Yeah. I don't want to really lose my identity. So I'm kind of iffy with it. I'm not going to respond to it. You know, if there is something out there that would like to, like, if there is an actual legit place that would be like, hey, you want to become, like, an art teacher to teach kids? I'll be like, that will be awesome, you know. But if it's going to be like, you, you need to send your information via picture, for mm-hmm. one. It was like, you have to send it via picture. And two, it just, I didn't really get much information from the place itself. So, like, I tried researching it a bit, but I didn't really see too much information. Um, I didn't, I don't know, like I said, uh, I don't know if it's, I mean, it looks, it says it's an organization. So, it's National Service for Citizen Art. So it seems legit, but I just don't want to be like taking you don't, this. Yeah, you don't want to trust legit. it. Yeah, like I said, I won't know. For people who like, so for people like, if if there are people who are teachers or whatnot, 
um let me know if you actually sent your like information via picture or like did you actually go to a different place because i don't want to trust something without i don't, I don't see them. they legally they shouldn't need a picture they should need just a specific id or well that that's the thing they like they ask for my name um they ask for like artwork so i try to send it and then they just start be like, okay, I need your information. I need pictures, and that's where I start getting weirded. Well, uh, yeah, someone someone tried something like that to me too. It was on uh, Instagram and then on Facebook. It was the same person, Laura. Laura, I don't know, it said she was from the UK, but she had messaged me and she said, "Oh, well, uh, if I donated one thousand five hundred dollars to you." what would you do with it? And I said, oh, I'd make an investment to stream stuff so we can make better content for people. And she said, right. okay, send me your cash app name and I'll send it to you. Oh, I, no. I didn't have anything. Well, no, I didn't have anything because to, to send money to someone. Yeah. You need the cash app name. So yeah, I gave her the name and then she said, Oh, well now you need a $25 fee to accept it immediately. I said, yeah, that was that was a bit suspicious because there there are certain fees for like PayPal and stuff. Some so it was like, eh, I didn't do a twenty five dollar fee. I didn't put it in there, and I started questioning her a bit. But the thing that really sold it was like, okay, now she's asking for my my driver's license ID and my credit you, card. I'm like, what what do you need that for? You literally just need the name. That's not how the app works. No, I'm not, no, that's... I'm not an idiot, woman. No, that's you know that kind of reminds me of a thing we've been talking. I don't care. Um, we'll do we'll we'll game in a bit, but yeah, another thing that kind of <laughs> speaking we, of which, we could, I you know, what? these little just chatting sessions. I'll post these on YouTube as uh as at what we'll make a a podcast playlist like we originally wanted to, and these just chatting things that'll be a part of it. Sure. I was going to say another thing that was kind of scammy, like was a while back. I think this was like 2019 or so. Um, I get this random friend request um, from this person I didn't know. Now, usually for me, I won't accept a friend request unless they have mutual friends for people I know. Because if you're just accepting people that you don't know, then it's like, yeah, it's shady. So what I do, every time I see someone who sends me a friend request, I look at their profile and see like, if there's people who know them, and if they do, you know, I accept it. Um, this person didn't really... So, a red flag was that they didn't really post anything. There was, like, one image, and that was themselves. Yeah. And, but I didn't care too much, because I saw they had, like, a couple of mutual friends, so I accepted. So then they messaged me, and so, a while, so, like, they messaged me, like, hey, how are you? You know, normal conversation. I was like, I'm doing good, how are you? And it's like... Then it got, then she's like, oh, she's like, I, she's like, did you, she's like, um, I, um, I, I, like, do you like, like sex? I'm like, I'm a virgin. Yeah. I was like, I'm a virgin. She was like, oh, I love, like, she's like, I like sex. Do you like sex? I'm like, I'm a virgin. I, I never did it. And she's like, oh, me too. And I'm just like, how do you like sex? You? Basically, that just basically told me, it's like, yeah. This is just a scam. And then she tried to video chat me. Um, and I just, I didn't answer. So I was like, listen, I literally told her, I was like, listen, I think we need to take like a breather because we don't know each other. You seem like a fine person, but I'm not interested. And she said, okay, and didn't message me. I only found out that on social media that there's actual people who do this and it's literally a bot doing this. And it's very stupid in my opinion. It is. I hate numbers and it's yeah. it's it's unbelievable yeah so basically I, people I, don't ever fall for like public things basically that's that's the message of the day basically like kevin said be like don't fall for things and be like if there is something that's out there that you're interested in, at least get some information on it because you don't know if it's legit or a scam so if yeah, don't just... and especially if People call you saying they're from the IRS. That's a scam. So don't answer it. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to get like tech support or whatever. Let's say you're calling the bank and, you know, it, it, some there are some rules. The bank has to follow certain rules. So if they start saying 
asking for suspicious stuff, hang up immediately because scammers can. I don't know exactly how, but they're somehow able to tap into the line and have it go to their phones instead of the actual banks. And then they can give you false information to make you make you give them your information and then they have control of all your accounts. So just be careful with what you do. And if you think something's going on, hang up immediately and call someone else or go to the bank itself or whatever. You know, that kind of reminds me of something, but I'll probably save it for another time, honestly. Damn, we ch just chatting for almost an hour. Yeah, that, well, basically, I was going to say, it's not a scam, but another thing that kind of, it's like, if you search something up, you're going to get advertisements of the thing you searched up, and I just don't like it, man. Yeah. Like, if I'm looking up, like, Dragon Ball Z or something, I'll get something like, literally, even on YouTube, when I watch Dragon Ball Z, I get ads for Dragon Ball Legends, and it's like, I have the game. Well, I don't have any more, but it's like, you know, stop showing me this stuff. I don't care. You know, it's like, how does it know, basically? Be because, like I said, I searched it up, sure, but it's like, how would they know? You know never mind. You know what I mean. Yeah, it's stupid. It really is.